Hey guys, this is Adrian Infermodio, and we are going to be continuing our series on learning the basics of Adobe After Effects. And now we're going to be jumping into creating, formatting, and designing text right here inside of After Effects. So without wasting any time, I can sense the excitement building. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, create a new composition. As we covered in the first episode, defaults are fine. Let's click OK. Now to create text, all you need to do is head up to this top toolbar and click this giant T. And this will give you a clicker where you can start typing. Uh, my text is white. So you can change the color of your text here in the character window. Now, if I mention a window and you can't find it anywhere in your After Effects screen, just head to this top bar here under Window, and this lists all the different uh, windows that you can possibly open. So for instance, Character's there. If you don't see it, just click Character right there, and you'll get this window on your screen. So here's where we can edit all of our fonts. You can use the arrow keys to cycle through them. I'm going to change my color first so you can actually see it. So you just click on these uh, colored windows here, and you can create, choose any color that you wish. I'll just go with a nice blue. And these are all the properties associated with your text, the scaling, um, vertical spacing, which you won't notice unless there's more lines. So if you select all your text, now you can see this uh, vertical spacing being adjusted. There's also a uh, horizontal tracking. There's also a paragraph box where you can either left align or center or right align your text. Now here's a little known secret that actually many people don't know in After Effects. There's an additional window. If you go up to the top and click Window, Align. Now this is the most effective way to center your text in the middle of your composition. Uh, for a long time, I didn't even know about this and I was trying to eyeball it. Um, and you can bring up a proportional grid and I used to try to go like this and and get it just right until I found out about this window. So you can left align, center, right align, take it to the top and uh, just calculates it for you right away. And that's an easy way to get it right in the middle. So another secret that a lot of people don't know in After Effects is that there's actually a text box which will help you create boundaries for your text so you don't have to press enter and space to format it yourself. Now to do that, you need to create it before you type your text. So click on the text tool and go inside your composition window and simply click and drag and this will create a text box. Now type in the box and you'll see that it's going to react to the proportions of the box. And this is very helpful when you're handling lots and lots of text because the old-fashioned way would be to have to press enter every time you wanted to create line breaks. So, very nice trick. That's going to save you a lot of time, especially if you're dealing with long bullet points or callouts. And a lot of even advanced After Effects users don't know about that. So, perhaps you can uh, teach them a lesson. So a basic effect that you're going to want to apply to text often is most likely a drop shadow. And that's fairly easy to do. You'll find that in your effect window under perspective, drop shadow. And you'll see it has a default right away and there's a few different options here. You can change the color, the opacity of the shadow, or the direction that it's going. Also the distance away from the text and the softness. So all very useful settings that you can play with. Um, come up with cool effects here. It's pretty common when you're editing text to have drop shadows. You'll see it everywhere. Another effect that people like to add is a gradient to your text. And to do that, go to Effect, Generate, Ramp. And you'll see it starts us out black and white. And these two little points on the top and bottom are going to be the two opposite ends of the ramp. And you can adjust the colors here. So 
So here's one of the major issues with the ramp. As soon as you try to move this text, say to the top, you'll notice that you lose the ramp because these two points are not moving with it. And there's not a very easy solution for that. Uh, what you need to do is what we call pre-comping. And to do that, you select your layer and you're gonna wanna use a shortcut Shift, Command, C. And that's gonna bring up this new window. So just rename it pre-comp text and we're just gonna click OK. So now we have a new composition in our project window. So this is our main composition and this is a new composition inside of it and that's why it's called a pre-composition. So if you double click this, you'll see that now we're inside and we can see our text and it has the effect applied to it still. Now if we go back to our original composition and we move this, you'll see that the ramp stays with it. So that's a basic lesson in pre-compositions. Now the same shortcut that I taught you last week, Option Command F will bring us right back to full frame. So I'm gonna head back into our pre-comp and continue working with our text. I'm gonna turn this ramp off here. So you can also add a stroke right here in the character panel. If you adjust this here, you'll see we can have a stroke right over our text. And we have a few options where you can apply the stroke um, under the fill or over the fill. And that just uh, determines how much of the face you're going to cover. So right here, it's just going to be going over the back and it won't be covering it. So another way to add some effects to your text are with the Photoshop layer styles. And to add those, head up to the top bar and click Layer. Well, first, you're going to want to select your text. Head to the top bar and click Layer and Layer Styles. And these are the same layer styles that you would find in Photoshop if you're familiar with those, but they just react a little bit differently. The bevel and emboss, for instance, is unique to anything that you would find in the After Effects effect panel. So there's plenty of options where you can uh, change the bevel where it goes in or out, um, facing up or down. We'll just make it a little more extreme here so you can see what it's doing. And you can adjust the depth. So that just gives it some shadows on the, on the ends there. You can make it look like it's uh, popping out of your background there. Well guys, that's a quick overview of formatting and editing text inside of After Effects. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment box, and I will get to them right away. Well, join us next time in Episode 3, where we'll be going over masks and shape layers. We'll see you then.